Well, it's nighttime in Rome, and we're here with Giuseppe Torosto. I got that right? Yes. At his new sexy sushi restaurant, Mi Geisha. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Tell me about this concept. This concept started in uh, Salerno, Italy, two and a half years ago. It was really, nobody was doing a different style of sushi. I decided I wanted to do something like the States, bring different flavors, not that what everybody else is doing. So I decided to go and get my buddy, Rodelli Aglebat, from Coy, Los Angeles, the food Buddha. <laughs> and I'm so excited to have him here. So he started this project with me. He loved it. He came out again, spent a week with me in Positano. We spent the 10 days on a, on a yacht. Oh, sounds terrible. He never wanted to go back. He never <laughs> wanted to go back. He's like, I'm here with you, whatever you want to do. So we were talking, you were talking about some of your signature dishes that you have coming out. We're very excited about serving local ingredient. We're doing a fusion restaurant, fusion with taste that people understand from here, from Italy. Like we do a lemon maki with uh, the outside of the lemon from the Mafi Coast mm. and we just uh, scrape it on top of the roll and gives you this new flavor. We take uh, a tuna that we add a little bit of a lot of cor coronado and it gives a total flavor like a fatty tuna. So and, uh, this is some of the things that we're doing. We're doing something different. People are excited, people love it and we're excited about this new project that's uh, happening in Rome with Migesha. Where did the concept and the design come for Migesha? I mean, it's just like, it's beautiful. There's all these little trinkets and it really feels like you're in a sexy kind of Japanese type, you know, New York style restaurant. You are so, you hit it right on the, on the <laughs> head. My, my architect, and you're from New York, you probably know, mm. his name is Mark Dizan. So he, he started with this concept of the wood being, you know, like this, for my restaurant in uh, Salerno. And we continued here in Rome with some of his ideas. So that's right, you have another restaurant in Salerno also. The same restaurant, the mother restaurant, our first restaurant, and it's a wonderful place to, to visit, Salerno, Italy. It's the beginning of the Amalfi Coast. Everybody should visit. This is just a uh, benvenute, what we call them. It's benvenute. Like, well, welcome. It's just a vegetable in uh, um, vinegar, uh, rice vinegar. That's just something that we send out to all our customers to open up your taste bud. Flavors and textures are popping. Yeah. Vinegar, sweet, salty, yes, and crispy all at the same time. This is delicious and so refreshing. That's what we try to accomplish. We try to do something different. So tell me about your signature drinks and sakis and all that kind of fun stuff. Look at that bottle, it's gorgeous. What is that? Yes, we, we bring all our sake in these type of bottles. And what we do is we do all our, our signature drinks with passion fruit and mm. sake, uh, uh, kapasaki we call them. Kapasaki. Kapasaki. Okay. So we do a, a mojito with sake. Instead of doing a strong, heavy drink, we do a more light drink with sake. Mm, talk to me, baby. What is this? This is crispy rice. Mm -hmm. Sake is crispy rice. That's with salmon. Dip. A little bit in the, in the soy. Just a little bit. Oh. Pop it right in there. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Mm. Something different, mm. right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. I'm never going home. Right. There's no reason to ever leave Italy. Something different. It's like texture under texture and flavor, and it's like a, I don't know, like this kind of soft pillow where it hits your mouth and flattens out and then goes into the crispy rice on the top to go softer in the, ah, oh, delicious. That's what the salmon. This is what we call the food Buddha crispy rice. All right. This was uh, invented here in Rome. For Rome, this new crispy rice. It's made with lard of Coronado. It's something really amazing. Everybody should try this dish. Finger is a finger looking good. All right. Fingers looking good. I see. If you like I a little pepper. spicy, you put a little here. I like it hot all the time. There you go. Okay. I'm with you. All right. <laughs> Special it. just for Rome. Here we go. Boom. I don't even know how to explain this one. It's like baked kuni tuna with spice and then salty. Oh. It's got a little, a little taste of everything. It really but, does. But at the end of the day. It's the way you make this crispy rice. Mm. That's a formula that the chef gave us that everybody tries to make, but it doesn't stay together. Yeah, and not only that, it's the texture. It's just like a journey through your through your mouth as you're going through it. You're just biting into different things, and oh, it's like it's like an experience. That is delicious. Are you freaking kidding? Stop! 
Stop it. This is so ridiculous. This is called fire gunkan. Fire gunkan. Okay. Dip it there. So there we got the Italian with the yeah, pesto. Yeah, the pesto. Rub some spicy. fire on it. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. The pesto. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second. Yeah, this is what we call a lemon maki. Lemon maki. Here we go. Again. All right. Mm, okay, here we go. Hello. It's like a a sushi truffle. You know, it's like the Thank journey you. of, yeah, it's spectacular. Thank you very much. And you, you run here, don't even walk. Camp outside, it is that good. Thank you so much for having us. Salud. Salud.